a secret agent skillful Though he mostly wants to go it alone But soon he'll find he cannot make it on his own Fighting villains till there's no one left to save Defeating evil everywhere and every day Hidden in a bookshop, there lies a door Through the fridge where he joins up with the freedom through Mr. Bradford and picks on the bomb And who's up with the first? Is that my... Only a few meters away. Looks like we've got company. There it is. Take that, Gator. Ryan, stop whatever you're doing. What? I need you in my office now. Okay, okay, but just like five more seconds. Now, that's an order. Okay, Ryan, you heard him. What? No way. This would just take a second. He said now. <laughs> Training simulation incomplete. Mission terminated. Really? This couldn't have waited like two seconds? Bradburn said now! I'm going to have to start that mission all over again. It'll be good practice. Besides, there's a real mission and Bradburn needs our help. Well, if Bradburn needs us, then we better go right away. What is your problem? Bradburn is our boss. Show a little respect. Oh, whatever. All he does is pass out orders all day. I bet he's never punched an alligator. So you think you'd make a better boss than Bradburn? Absolutely. Huh. I could do it. Ah, oh, Defrades, Chandler, come in. Great, he's already called in my mom. Look, sir, we've been over this. I am the best spy you've got, and she is just an untrained agent. Have you no respect? Uh, honey? Huh? That's not me. But they... who... what? May I present Her Royal Majesty, Queen Gwendolyn Mary Elizabeth Julietta Pemberton III, Queen of Rupaloopalstein. You may call me your highness. Kneel, you nincompoop. Uh... But she's... they are... Yes, a perfect match. Which is why, dear madam, we need your help to defend our kingdom against a new threat. Oh, dear. We've just received word that someone is planning on stealing... The Crown Jewels! <gasps> so, who's after the jewels? Well, we stumbled upon a video earlier today explaining the whole thing. Hello? Is it on? <laughs> it's Pirate Pete! Okay, three, two, one! Hello, Mummy. Happy birthday. If you're watching this video, then I've already stolen the crown jewels from the Queen of Rupal Opalstein. I stole them just for you, because you are the queen of my heart. When I told you I wanted to be a pirate, you were the only one to support me. And when my leg got gangrene, twas you that stood by me, no matter how bad it smelt. Smelt? Smelled? Smelted? Oh, dash it all, matey. I've messed it up again. Let's start it over. Not again. Not again. Well, I'll do it as many times as it takes, because she's my mother, and tomorrow is her birthday. 
And what now? What? Live video? Matey, what have you done? You hit the go live button. Now the whole world knows our plan. Cut it off, cut it off! Wow. Thanks to this little technology slip up, we now have a chance to stop him. Precisely. Don't worry, Your Majesty. We won't let anything happen to you or the crown jewels. I give you my word. And to prove our commitment, I'm sending in one of our top agents. Well, I mean, I'll do what I can. Deb DeFratis. What? The queen needs protection. We'll take her to a safe place until the threat has been neutralized. And in the meantime, your mom can fill in for her as queen. Oh dear, me? You're a perfect match. But I don't know anything about being a queen. Oh, madame, never fear. Sir Rupert is here. I will teach you everything you need to know. Well then, okay. What about me? You are going undercover as the Queen's royal fetcher. And by fetcher, you mean... Her servants. Come on! It's perfect. You'll be right next to the Queen serving her the entire time. That way, you can watch the crown jewels and keep an eye out for... Pirate Pete. I am not <laughs> wearing this. Oh, come on. You have to. It's part of your disguise. <laughs> Nice. Why couldn't I be a knight in shining armor? I guess you could have. Hmm. Well, too late. What? Now entering Madame Deborah DeFratis. How'd I do? Marvelous, madam. But you, sir, show some respect. Oh, brother. Bow to the queen. Respect the queen. Don't you ever get tired of serving the queen? I mean, don't you wish you could pass out the orders? Of course. Really? Yes, but the fact is, it's not my job. She is the queen, and that position demands my respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe me, being in charge is not as easy as it seems. Well, then put me on the throne and I'll wear the tiara. Oh, you don't understand. Nope. There are all sorts of important positions in our kingdom. We have police officers, teachers, parents. They help keep the order so that Rupel Oopelstein doesn't fall apart. Are you done? You are infuriating. I don't get it. We know Pirate Pete's going to try to steal the crown. So why not just lock it up for a few days? The crown is a national symbol of strength and dignity. You don't just lock up the Statue of Liberty. You don't lock up the Grand Canyon. The crown belongs on the head of the queen. And the queen is expected to appear today at the festival. What festival? The festival. The annual Wooden Spoon Festival of Rupaloopalstein. Oh my, is that today? Show him. Rupaloopalstein is the world's number one maker of wooden spoons. They've been proudly making them since 1591. Every year, the country holds a special festival. Young girls wear spoons in their hair. The men have giant wooden spoon jousting tournaments and the queen parades through town on a float made of grilled cheese and tomato soup. Awesome! Ooh, it sounds positively scrummy. Indeed, madam. Mostly because it contains a special ingredient. Fish eyeballs. Ugh. Ugh. They are really quite a delicacy. And does the... Uh, queen eat the soup? Of course. Uh, great. <laughs> Have fun at the festival. Now, you, sir, we need to go over your duties. The number one task of the royal fetcher is, well, to fetch the queen whatever she needs. Fetch? 
Like a dog? That's right. You are to bring Her Royal Majesty whatsoever she may need. You are to respond immediately and with a cheerful disposition. A cheerful what? A good attitude. Oh, please. She's my mom. But today she is also your queen. Oh, and one more thing. Whatever the queen commands you to do, you are to respond, Yes, your majesty. To hear is to obey. What? Oh, you can practice on the way. All right, madam. Now we won't have long, but we need to get you ready for the festival at once. Of course. Would you like your fetcher to bring the royal luggage up to the throne room? Oh, yes, please. Royal luggage? Huh. What? I didn't know what to bring. You're not even staying overnight and... Uh, uh, uh. Yes, your majesty, to hear is to obey. Oh, and keep an eye out for Pirate Pete. I think he's already here. How do you know that? Oh. All right, let's review the plan. As soon as the parade begins, you get rid of one of the guards. And I will assume his position wearing this clever disguise. Then, on my signal, <coughs> you distract the audience. <coughs> then, when no one's looking, or she blows! And while everyone runs in mass chaos, uh, I grab the crowd. Got it? Grab the crowd! Grab the crowd! <laughs> And crown thy good with spoons of wood And save our noble queen Oh, wonderful, wonderful! And after the national anthem, you will be presented with... The Ceremonial Spoon! Oh my! Is it made of solid gold? No, it's just a wooden spoon. Oh. Uh, yeah. uh. That is all of it. So many stairs. Thank you, honey. Well, it's just about time for us to go. Would the queen like a beverage before we go? Oh. I love some water. Fetch her! Bring the queen a glass of water from downstairs, in the kitchen. Stairs? Really? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. To hear is to obey. Uh. I can't believe I have to... Uh. She's not even real Don't queen. forget your cheery disposition! Unbelievable. Uh, 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 All right, so as the parade begins, you must keep your chin held high, your spoon in the air, and every so often you give a slight wave. <sighs> <sighs> Here you go. Oh, thank you so much, sweetie. But you know what? As soon as he left, I remembered I had a water bottle in my purse. Uh, you can have it. Well, it's just about time for us to go. Are we ready to head down? Not again. Uh... Oh, pardon me. Hello, this is Rupert. Yes? Yes. Yes. Gasp! No! You can't.
can't quit. Well then, fine, be that way. But don't expect any fruitcake this Christmas. Your Highness, it's a complete disaster. That was my brother, Hubert, the director of the Wooden Spoon Festival. Yes? Apparently there's been a problem with the spoon twirlers. He just can't get them to listen. Oh dear. The parade starts in ten minutes and Hubert refuses to go on. Surely something can be done. We can't have a parade without a parade director. A 400-year-old national tradition down the drains because of my brother. It's okay. We'll think of something. And to think I got him that job. I've got it. I know just what to do. Pardon? I shall send in my royal fetcher. What? Ryan, you'd be an excellent leader. I get to be in charge? <laughs> oh dear. How hard can it be? Quiet! All right, now I need all of you to get in position now. Knights over there, horses in front of them. And guys, watch where you point these things. And finally, twirlers, I need you in two straight rows. You got that? You're funny. <laughs> what? No! Stop! Ah. Picks for Ryan. Do you copy? Yeah, I'm here. Is everything in order? No. What's the problem? The parade is about to start. These twirlers are evil. They won't listen to me. Whoa, put her down. You are so bossy. That's because I'm the boss. You can't tell us what to do. Actually, I can. The queen put me in charge. The queen put me in charge. Stop that. Stop that. Stop repeating everything I'm saying. Stop repeating everything I'm saying. Uh, you are one rude little girl. All I'm trying to do is get everyone organized for your little parade. Well, you're not doing a very good job, are you? Oh, you think you could do better? Yeah. <laughs> hmm, reminds me of someone else I know. We're here in Rupal Upalstein at the annual Wooden Spoon Festival, where the parade is just about to start. But first, here with us today is Jack Pepper and his wife, Bree. They are attempting to break the world record for the largest grilled cheese sandwich ever made. And I think today, they just might do it. How are you feeling, Jack? Jolly good, Candy. We're off to a good stop. It smells great, looks great, perfect size. But I think the question all of us are wondering is, how are you going to flip it? Well, I've rigged up a special hydraulic spatula here of my own design. <laughs> and I think it should be strong enough. Here comes the flip. I done told you you wound it too tight. Well, I guess the forecast today is cloudy with a chance of cheese. <laughs> we'll be back with the start of the parade right after this. No funny business, Lizzie. I mean it. Back in line, Julie. <sighs> All right, I think we're ready. The queen is in position. Ready, and go twirlers, and ready horsemen, go horsemen. All right, men, move out. I said, were there not just five men a moment ago? What? Oh, never mind. Something just doesn't seem right. We need... Ryan! Not now. Ryan! I said, not now! <gasps> I mean, uh... To hear is to obey. <laughs> you, sir, have insulted the Queen. 
She's not even the real queen. She's my mom. <sighs> Ryan, what are you doing? You just blew her cover. I'm sorry, the parade, all the twirlers. It's really stressful. Look here, young man. It's true, she may not really be the queen. But you have no right to talk to her that way. She holds a very important position in your life. She is your mother. And that should mean something. Yeah, even I respect me, Mom. And I'm a pirate. Now, matey. Uh, I mean... <coughs> It, Mama! Happy birthday! Oh, no, you don't! Get him! Get him, Mama! Mighty! Help! You go, Mom! Oh, no, you don't! Excuse me! I've got a crown to save. Not so fast, Pirate Pete. There it is. I've almost got it. Not today, Petey. Ryan, no! Huh? Get out of the way! Now! <laughs> Happy birthday! <sighs> Whoa! Well, your highness, here it is. Safe and sound. Just like we promised. Pirate Pete is back in prison, and Matey has been placed in a strict bird rehabilitation program. <laughs> Rupal Upalstein thanks you all. Well, it was fun to be queen for a day. But boy, am I glad to go back to being plain old Deb DeFratis. You know what, Mom? You may not be a queen anymore. But you're pretty important to me. Oh, honey. I shouldn't have yelled at you. That was disrespectful, and you were just trying to warn me. Well, I knew something was up. I guess the stress of leading the parade just got to me. I didn't realize how hard it is to be in charge of something. <laughs> that is the truth. Oh, by the way, boss, I've been meaning to tell you. You do a great job leading the agency. Well, uh, thank you. If it weren't for you, I would have been smashed by a giant grilled cheese sandwich. Which reminds me, anyone up for some grilled cheese and tomato soup? Mmm, that sounds good. I know just the place. I'm coming too, but do you think we could ask them to hold the fish eyeballs? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm Jeremy, and this is my sister Kendra, and we're the writers of Ryan DeFrady's Secret Agent. In today's episode, Ryan has to stop a pirate from stealing the crown jewels and learns the importance of respecting authority. You may call me your highness. Uh, Fetch her! Bring the queen a glass of water from downstairs. Unbelievable. Uh. Believe me, being in charge is not as easy as it seems. Quiet! Can you imagine what the world would be like if nobody was in charge? It would be dangerous. Without police officers in control, people could just steal things and drive as fast as they wanted. Without teachers, bullies would never get in trouble. And without parents, 
kids would never eat vegetables or brush their teeth. God puts people in charge for a reason, and it's our job to respect the people he chooses. In the Bible, there were two brothers, Moses and Aaron. God knew they were the right leaders for his people, and so he put them in charge. But some of the people didn't like that. Who do you think you are? This group grumbled. Moses tried to explain it to them. We know we're not perfect, but God is the one that chose us to be your leaders. If you don't believe me, come and we will ask God to show if what I say is true. But the people replied, no way, we're not coming. You're not our boss. You see, the people weren't just complaining about Moses and Aaron. They were complaining about God's choice of who was in charge. And then something crazy happened. The ground split apart and swallowed up all the grumblers in one giant gulp. Wow. Respecting authority must be really important to God. I would say so. And that means listening to and obeying the people God picks and doing it all with a cheerful attitude. Because the people God puts in charge have a hard job and they are responsible to God.